name's Emily and this is Gatlin. I'm a single mom. I work full-time away from the home and uh, we just live here, just he and I. And this is my slow cooker and today we're going to be making some beef stew. What I normally like to make, my favorite dish to make in the crock pot is normally a roast or some kind of whole chicken, uh, but I do make stews and chilies frequently from time to time. My main issue that I have with my crock pot is that a lot of times it burns around the edges or I either don't let it cook long enough because I become impatient or I let it cook too long because I can't make it back to the house in time. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started talking about our beef stew recipe. To make our beef stew, I went to Walmart. Here's the receipt. And I picked up actually two things. So I really am not very good at chopping onions. So Walmart sells this uh, wonderful Tyson slow cooker meal. It has actually this roast that's in it, but uh, I'm gonna take that roast out and save it for another day. And then they also already had this beef stew meat. It's about two pounds of beef stew meat, and it's already cut into about two inch chunks. So I'm gonna use this beef stew meat, and then it already has all the vegetables, and the big selling point is it already has the onions cut, so you won't have to see me cry on camera. For my base, I'm gonna use a bottle of Amberbach, uh, beer, which I just like using as my base for most of my slow cooking needs. And then I also picked up this awesome rolls and I'll make that when we get ready to actually serve the meal. All right, so what we're gonna do, Gatlin and I, or my trusty helper here, is he's gonna use his claw to open up the beef stew. It's very handy to have a superhero on your side when you're doing some cooking in the kitchen. Good job. And uh, because my ingredients are already chopped, I'm basically just going to take them out of this packet and I'm just going to go ahead and place them straight into the crock pot here. What are you going to do with this? I'm going to mix that in there with my ingredients. Yep, with the ingredients. You want to put these in? Sure. Good thing is these ingredients were all vacuum sealed. That's kind of nice. Just dump them in. You like all those hey, vegetables? Hey, you got carrots? <laughs> okay. You got now, carrots? I'm going to use my son and his trusty claw again to open up the beef stew meat. We're going to put that in next. Got it. Thanks, pal. Then we're going to add the sugar. <laughs> it's actually seasoning, not sugar. Throw that in there. Then we're going add to add our drink. drink. Our root beer. Our root beer. Can I pour in the root beer? Sure. All of it? All of it. And actually, I might it add another like, bottle of actual like water with that. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and cut this packet open, too, and put that in. You can can I cut it? Okay, so we are going to add another um, bottle of water. and Two bottles of water. <laughs> well, one one bottle of base and one bottle of water. And then if you can come look inside this pot here and look at those ingredients, I'm just gonna go ahead and stir once everything's already in the pot. I think the, sometimes the directions call to stir outside of the pot, but then I have to wash another dish. And um, if there was a cooking show called Lazy Cooking, I would totally qualify for that. So I just mix everything in the same thing. Even though it's a little bit chunky, kind of hard to mix that stuff around in there, but I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it just like that. All right. Just like that. And bye. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put the lid on here. It says to slow cook that for ba, 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 10 hours ba, 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 on low. So, ba, ba, ba. so I'm going to set the slow cooker here on low for 10 hours. And I'll just update you as we're going along. It's done. Okay, so here we are at the end of hour one-ish, and I'm looking in the pot, it's starting to boil just a little bit, but I think I'm going to leave the lid on, the meat's starting to turn a little bit brown, but I want to take off the lid and stir it. I wish I could stir it without taking off the lid, but instead I'm just going to keep it on there and wait a little bit longer. Okay, here we are with the crock pot at about oh, three and a half hours into it. It's bubbling quite a bit. It's about midnight now, so it's a little bit dark in the house, but 
My helper's already in bed. I'm going to take off the lid and go ahead and stir it for the first time. That's steamy. I don't know if you can see that. So, the onions that I put in there are starting to fall apart. The potatoes still don't look like they're done. I'm going to freshly cut those. It smells good, though. Okay, more to come. Okay, here we are. This is at about nine hours, and I'm going to take off the lid. I think it's pretty much done. I haven't stirred it since midnight. Mm, wow. That's hot. So you can see, like, on the side, there's that weird filmy stuff that's on the outside. I don't know if I'm going to stir it in or not. Well, I'll just stir it. Everything looks pretty much done, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the machine off. And I normally, off, yeah, and I normally just let it sit in the crock pot for a while to cool down. Um, so I'll do that, and then I think we'll put it in a bowl, and then see how it tastes. Okay, so here we are. I've let it sit for about a half an hour after I've turned the actual crock pot off. So just to give a quick recap of the, the actual dish itself, I let it cook for about nine hours. I stirred it actually about twice during that process, once at midnight and once about 3.30 when I um, turned it actually off. I checked on it though, um, I would say about six or seven times throughout the night just to see. I think I might have put too much liquid in there, but overall it seems like it turned out okay. Um, as far as how this process could be made easier, um, I did take kind of the shortcuts for preparing the meal and I also you know, had a lot of liquid in there so I didn't have to really worry about it burning. Uh, it would have been nice if every once in a while I would have just been able to either lift the lid or have a small little thing to be able to open it up and take it out. Um, as far as stirring it goes, I didn't stir it until about three hours in for the first time. It didn't seem really like it needed stirred until then. Um, but it still is It's a pretty heavy dish as far as all the meat goes. And of course I didn't cut the potatoes, so they're also pretty big in there. So I'm going to go ahead and take out... A bowl full of the beef stew here. And put it over in here. And I don't have anybody awake right now to help me film myself actually eating it, but I will go ahead and take a spoon here. You see what I think. Overall, the texture is really good. You know, it looks like beef stew to me. Some bigger onion pieces. Uh, I think I'll take this here. There's my first bite. Ooh, that's really hot. Hot, 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 hot. Okay. 